Hi, this is Dave with Projector People. Uh, I'm here today to unbox the BenQ MH680 DLP projector. This is an HD uh, business projector. And so let's just get right to it. This is a new model from BenQ. They were kind enough to supply us with a demo unit. So we'll just go ahead and pop this out. Take a look at what we have here. BenQ usually does a pretty good job of packaging their stuff up, so it's nice and nice and neat. Um, I actually did go ahead and open this just a few minutes ago, so if you hear some things clunking around, it's just the cables. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got here. We have the projector, which we'll open up in just a second. Uh, we have your standard VGA cable for hooking up to your laptop. Um, a small remote. This is different than the usual BenQ remotes we've seen before, but um, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, we have your power cable and your user guide with your CDs probably in here and batteries for your remote. Okay. Uh, this is a very, one of the first things I noticed about this is it's a very light projector. Um, I think it only weighs uh, around six pounds. Actually, it's under six pounds. Um, so you can, let's see uh, how that works there. Take out the packaging. And there we go, it's a nice black projector. Back in the box. Right. Uh, since this is a demo unit, I'm not going to go ahead and remove all this, the covering. Um, we'll give this back to them, but this will give you an idea of what we're looking at. Okay, um, we'll show you the back inputs now. Uh, so what you have here is you have your RS-232 uh, input, your HDMI. This is an HD projector, so it is native uh, 1080p. Uh, you have your uh, two USB inputs. Um, you can actually uh, put a, uh, a USB uh, thumb drive in here and present images, uh, all the standard image formats, GIF, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, uh, bitmap. Um, and for the mini uh, B, USB, um, if you connect that to your laptop um, with a, a type A to a B, um, you can actually use that for um, using the remote control to uh, kind of channel through your presentations. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, you have your monitor out, uh, your computer VGA input in. Uh, you actually have two of those, so that's great. Um, you have your standard other inputs here. You have an S video. Um, then you have your composites, and you have an uh, audio in, um, which will work in a standby mode, and you have an audio out, which will prevent the speaker, the 10 watt speaker in here from actually playing. So, and then you have your little power, power cord input. So it's, it's pretty feature rich uh, as far as inputs go. Uh, it's pretty much all you'll need. Okay, so we went ahead and set everything up here. I've got the uh, projector uh, hooked up to the laptop via VA, uh, VGA cable. And um, I just wanted to quickly show you from the front, um, this is a little different setup or than, than normal. Normally you're used to having uh, little legs here when you need to adjust this. Um, this seems like a new feature from BenQ. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see this really well, but there's a little button in the front you push. Um, to raise and lower the projector if you're not going to install it. And it's actually kind of simple. You just basically push it to where it needs to be and then it just drops down to uh, the correct height. It makes it pretty easy to, to quickly get to where you need to be without adjusting left and right, back and forth. Um, so that's kind of a cool feature. Um, and then of course on the top you still have your standard um, uh, focus and zoom um, dials. These always seem to work really nicely. Okay, let's quickly go through some of the features for this projector. It is a DLP projector, 3,000 lumens brightness. It's got a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio. Um, we're throwing a 120 inch image, about 120 inch diagonal image from about 13 feet away with uh, full light um, in this room. We have our fluorescent lights overhead. Um, and you can see the picture quality is really good. Uh, you'd be able to see this pretty much no matter where you're sitting in this room, be able to read this very legibly. Uh, you could go back to 20 or 25 feet from uh, 
the wall or the screen if you needed a bigger image, but you'd probably have to have some kind of lighting control at that point. Um, it's uh, native 16 by 9 1080p resolution, but it's capable of uh, multiple different resolutions. So if you have a 16 by 10 or a 4 by 3 format that you need to adjust to. This is a 3D capable projector. You will need active uh, RF glasses for that. You'll also have to have 3D content uh, from a 3D capable device, either a DLP linked computer or a 3D Blu-ray player to uh, activate that. Um, it should automatically detect it. Now let's take a look at some HD internet video that we pulled from YouTube. Uh, again, this quality is not going to be uh, fantastic because it is compressed, but uh, it's, it actually looks really good when uh, when we're here in person. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Now the picture quality right out of the box is very good. Um, we have excellent contrast. Uh, 10,001 contrast ratio really kind of pops up here. I have good black levels, very good color right out of the box. Um, crisp image, nice resolution. Um, and while this is not what we would typically call a home theater projector, um, you could certainly use this projector to watch HD content or uh, movies on occasion. Uh, so to kind of wrap things up, uh, we would definitely recommend this projector. It, it does have a 5,000 hour lamp life, 3,000 lumens for those situations where brightness, uh, room brightness is, is maybe out of your control. Uh, a standard three year parts and labor warranty from BenQ. If you'd like to order this projector, please stop by our website, projectorpeople.com. We have a whole team of experienced projector experts who are happy to speak with you, answer any questions you might have. Thanks. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and have a great day.